Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces Round 8724, and this is the sixth problem that is F forever winter. Uh, let's see pro what the problem states. The problem states like uh, you have a snowflake graph, and the snowflake graph will have two integers that is x and y. And uh, what they are telling is you have to start with one central vertex and connect x new vertices from it. Okay, x new vertices from the central vertex and connect y new vertices to each of the x vertex so if these are the x vertex we have to sell, uh, sell we have to connect y vertices that is this is y this is y this is y okay so in this case being a snowflake graph x is having five from the middle we are having five vertices connected to it then each of the five vertices will have three vertices connected that is the value of y so our aim is to find uh, this x values, the middle values and uh, how much each of the uh, x vertex has come connected. That is this y value. So uh, for those of you who don't know, like this is a graph problem and uh, the input is given in a, this format that is 2120, uh, 20 represents the edges. So 2120 and 520, 521 are the nodes. We necessarily don't need to know uh, like uh, what they mention like graph theory and all. It's just that you just can simply code with just a normal adjacency list. So what will we do? So first let's observe, uh, can we see any pattern of this format? So as you see here, we want to know the count of this and count of this. Only this is the only possible case. So what do we do is we just want to know uh, what is unique about this here the unique thing is in input this occurs only one time this occurs only one time and this occurs only one time whatever is there in the edges right everything occurs only one time in the input as well as in the graph and these one time occurrence are connected to one of the x vertices these are all x vertices this is connected to x that's all so now what do we do so from the information we have we'll create a, a map called as ma and MA will hold all vertices count, all vertices count. So in this case, what 2 occurred one time, 16 occurred one time, 18 occurred one time, and 6 occurred how many times? 6 occurs along with 2 also, 16 also, 18 also, and 15 also, right? So 6 occurs 4 times. Similarly, we'll do for everything, okay? So here 15 occurs how much times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, our aim is we want to try only for numbers that are having only one occurrence okay so before that we need to create the graph how do we create the adjacency list you have like adj 2 uh, like 2 16 18 and each of this will have a list right so let's say we are having 6 also for 2 you have uh, 6 16 for simplicity i call this as parent 16 is have 6 and 18 is having 6 so 6 is having whole 2 comes, 16 comes, 18 comes and also 15 also can come. Now what are the things now we have? We understood that if the count is only one, it will always be connected to one of the x vertex. So we got all of this, we just got the count, we just created the graph also through adjacency list. From this, we iterate through all the map elements. Why are we iterating? Because we want to know this counts number, right? So if two equal to one comes, if any of the MA's value, if any of the MA value or something comes as one, if any of the MA count comes as one, we go here, get this value, go to that and get the corresponding parent value. Again, it's not the exact parent, we are just calling it. It goes to the parent value and we increment it. Six will become one. 16 again 16 became 1 so 16 6 becomes 2 18 also 1 then 18 is 6 6 becomes 3 similarly we do for all the elements so how does the count value look like this is a separate map okay i call this as map count so it looks like something like 20 occurs 3 times 6 occurs 3 times then 7 occurs 3 times 8 occurs 3 times and 3 occurs 3 times and we are done with the problem it's over that's all so we have to derive something from it right i'll show you so as i told you count is a map here 
So since each of the value is connected to one of the X vertices, the keys, right, number of keys, the number of size of count is always X only. So here, how many X's are there? One, two, three, four, five, right? X is five, we got it. But what is Y value? Y value is three here, right? That is same as this count. We got this count here, right? This three, that's all. So uh, there are many ways, but I feel through observation, we can just make it simpler and we are done. So I'll show you with the help of an example. So what I'm doing is I'm creating, I'm taking the input. They will give you edges only. We'll take the input. Then each of the vertex, I'm taking the count and storing it. If it is edge, I need one, right? If the count is one or if whatever be the count I'm taking it, then I'm creating the adjacency list here. Adjacency list is created of this format. So if it's bi-directional, like uh, for 15, for six, right? It will be six, two comes, 16 comes, 18 comes, 15 comes. For 15 also six can come and all the other matrix can come. Simply I'm creating it. Next, uh, height is second. I am taking an iterator of the map and iterating through all the numbers. If the iterator's value is one means, I am converting the adjacency list to a vector and incrementing the count. Means what? If the count is one, I mean that it is definitely connected to one of the X component and X components value. I'm creating another map called as count and I am incrementing it. So whoever comes 16 comes six will be two. If 12 comes seven will become one and nine comes seven becomes two. Similar to that, I'm incrementing the count. Okay. I'm just adjacency list is just a lookup. I'm incrementing the count. So why do I, why did I keep maxi here? Because through for loop only, I want to get the values of this. So at last everything will be equal, but uh, through within for loop itself, I'm able to get the vice value. Once everything is done, count dot size. That is, we got the values here, right? Count dot size represents the X value and maxi represents the Y value. That is three. So that's it guys. We It's very simple. You just find the uh, vertex that is having count as one, go to its parent and increment how many children it have. Okay. So we can't actually use the term apart from a director graph, but for simplicity seeing that for six, we have two 16 and 18 outreaches. We are taking the count and just uh, putting in a separate uh, counter map. In that map, whatever be the keys come, the number of keys or number of size represents the X values and the value for each of them represents the Y. That's it. So this is the solution number and submission. I'll link it to the description. So if you have any doubt, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.